Hello everyone, Mizland here with a new game that I'm playing called Project Zomboid. It's currently out on Desura, and when you buy it, it's not the like current build, it's kind of like a test build. They didn't put on new builds yet because they're not done with final builds. I'm currently playing 2.9, I think, build 6. I had to torrent it because you can only get it through the forums right now, but they are working on pushing new builds out once they're done with them. The game did have NPCs also, like um, other survivors that you could interact with that were computers, but they were currently taken out because of bug issues, but they'll be currently they'll be put back soon. Um, this is a game I just started up. I didn't really do anything on it yet. I just went and started because I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to crash because sometimes it crashes on me when I started up. So I just started up, got it ready, and okay. So basically, it's a survival game involving zombies, and since like what we're trading in this game for like 3D graphics all around. The models are 3D, but everything else. What we're trading in all that, we're getting in... I want to say we're getting in quality. That's how I look at this game. So, you could loot. This is currently the house I started out in. It has random stuff. I had had kitchen knives, so... I'm currently grabbing those, because they're good primaries. I don't know if they could break over time, but... Oh, I'm currently heavy. So let me uh, just empty some of my stuff real quick. So I had this sheet. I'm going to rip that into bandages. These are just things I picked up in my house so far. Um, I'm gonna put my vest. I'll put that away soon. Um, I don't really need these, so I'm gonna move these into this drawer. So hold on a second. Do some inventory management. I have 16 bandages. I don't know how to uh, take a certain amount of things, so I'm just gonna leave myself with 16 bandages. Um, kitchen knives. I don't know how to take like just one. So whatever. Weirdos. I don't really need this vest right now, so let me go put that away in my little cabinet here. So, we'll put this vest away. And my guy's currently hot, I think. You, why are you hot? It's just rainy out. Okay, now it's probably sunny. So, let's go on an adventure. So, basically what we could do, we don't even have to stay here. This is not even like a house. This is just a house we're currently in. We don't have to do anything. Um, our guy has to sleep, do other things. He has to eat, he has to drink. You have skills you can level up by getting XP. Um, info on them. I chose when you start the game, you could randomly, it randomly generates a guy, but you could add some stuff. You can't add it clothes because those you can pick up and everything, but you could add it like skin color, hair, beard, things like that. And then you could pick what their profession was before they design apocalypse. I picked a construction worker because they get thick skin, which makes them like, like less likely to get infected when they get bit or scratched. And he's handy, you can build things. The building system I haven't really gotten too familiar with. I have made like a things like a door before, but that's pretty much it. Um, let's see if there's anything on these shelves, and there isn't. I want to find like something small to take with me to eat, but I don't think I'm gonna have any of that. And I don't think I have anything in here really, do I? A blast, which I could rip up in the bandages, but I got enough of those. So this video could either be really short or really long, depending on how it goes. But yeah, I need something new for the channel, and I want to take a break from War Z to get in time to develop the game because I feel like it became too much of a struggle for me. So. I moved into this. Um, things I plan on doing with this game, I know that Chris picked it up also, if you remember him from my War Z videos, and I think we're going to do a uh, survival challenge type video where we're going to see who could survive longer than the other in this game, and I'll have our videos up side by side, I think that'll be cool. And I see some zombies down there, so we're just going to ignore that for now. I'm not too good at sneaking, I'm not too good at killing, I just survive. So I try to stay away from conflict. If it's like one-on-one -on -one conflict with zombies, I'll go right in, but other than that, no. Things that they are, um, I know I'm jumping around with topics here, but I'm trying to think of things as they come to my head. Things that they're adding to this game still, they're going to add NPCs back. There were NPCs in the, uh, if you play the, uh, Desura build of the game right now, there are NPCs running around, but they were taken out because of bug issues, but they will be added back into this full thing. They'll randomly roam around. There could be interactions between your character and them. You can't pick anything with the interactions from what I've seen, but like your character will discuss things with them. Let's try this back door in this house. So far, what I know is the best way about getting this game is... Um, let me try and find the... And that door is locked. I don't want to smash... You could smash the window climb in. But this house looks kind of nice, and it might have an alarm, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get involved with that at all. I'm just gonna walk away. Um, but current way of easiest way to get this game is buying it through the Sura, what I see, and then downloading the newest build and entering your CD key into the uh, launcher to make sure like you own the game, and then you could uh, play it from there. 
it is up to be voted for. You could vote for it still on Steam, Steam, ah, Steam Greenlight, I believe. I think that was where I originally found it, but it took me a little while to buy it. I just waited to see what was going on with it, and I decided to buy it because it looks really cool now. Before, it was like the really early build from what I saw, but now it's nice and clean. I don't know if I want to break this or not, and that's a zombie. Let's just kill this guy. Hey! And my guy's panicking a little bit now, but the zombie doesn't really seem to care about me too much. I think he just disappeared. Let's just break this window and see if we could. We can climb through. So we're in the house now. This is a good point. Let's see if we can find some like small food or something. I do hear a zombie. I'm just gonna ignore him. Oh, I can't. He's here. He's here. He knows. Come on, come with that kitchen knife. I'm sorry to be here clicking, but the combat is just basically hold control and click. All right, I got him. And I don't think he did any damage to me, so I'm good. Ooh, a washer and a dryer. Can I loot those? No. Okay. So if my guy ends up getting tired, I might just sleep in this house. But so I found a rolling pin, and I feel like, if I can remember correctly, that is a better primary because of the swing. It's kind of like a bat. I think it even looks like a bat. It does. I think it just has a bat animation on it. I think that's going to be better than a uh, the chick uh, the kitchen knife. I'm gonna say chicken knife. So I want to eat. That's one thing I think I could do. Well, I know I could do that, but I think that's one thing I should do before continuing. So let's see what's in this fridge. I could just eat two pieces of pie and just make my day great. We're just going to eat pie. That's good. And let's make our way throughout the rest of the house. See, we can't... Nothing in these cabinets. Hmm. Let's go upstairs. Hopefully there's not anything upstairs. Zombies can see you through windows. You can hang curtains up on windows using sheets. And it'll kind of like hide you from the uh, zombies so they won't just see you walking around. And they can also break through windows if they see you. And like you could turn lights on and off with light switches. And that'll make you like, that'll make them like less able to see you. So there's other ways not to be seen. Kind of works. We found 9mm rounds. I might as well take them, but I doubt there's a gun in this house. Loot's all random, so like you can randomly find things, but yeah, I doubt I'm gonna find a gun in this house. Plus, like, I think I already went in this room. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so we found some chests. This could become good. A tent peg. I don't need to do anything with that. Those are shotgun shells. But I need a gun, if anything. Okay, I want to look. Okay, I think that's empty. I'm just giving one second. I'm confused as to what's. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, whatever. Something I can do about that right now. I'll do this. I'm gonna do this. Hmm. And there we go. Okay, that's gonna fix that. I'm sorry about that noise. I just fixed it though. Alright. So, nails. Ooh! Nails are good. If we had a hammer, we'd be able to nail them, I think, into. Um. My. Bowling pin? Or my, uh. Rolling pin, that one. And. That would, uh. Help me out. So, let's do. I wanna try something real quick. Um. Hmm. You're able to dye things with paint, but I don't know how that works. Can I? I can't swing the paint. I'm just going to drop the paint. Because I can't... I thought I could dye my pants brown. I was hoping on that. That's why I picked it up, but I don't think I could. So I'm just going to take my bowling pin. And maybe I'll take my... Okay, okay, I know you're unpleasantly hot. Hold on, we're gonna fix all this right now. You jerk. We're gonna we're gonna ditch our sweater because our guy is currently being a baby about the sweater. And claiming that he's unpleasantly hot 24-7. So we're gonna grab the shotgun shelves. Hopefully they don't weigh that much. And they do. So Hmm. Maybe I'll just I'll leave the uh 
shotgun shells and the nine mil rounds in this room in which case if i ever need to come back to them i will now my guy is still worried about the sweater okay i only cooked the sweater he's becoming tired so we might be sleeping in this house today um oh man i, I, just, I got in there before i just can't get back in there now there's one time about them being bugged with the uh those cabinets. Um, this vanity. Did it have? Uh, it had a vest. Okay, so I'm just gonna wear the vest because that'll still make him look cool, give him protection, and he shouldn't be as hot. If he continues to be unpleasantly hot, I'm just gonna run around in his underwear because that's currently his own problem. So we're gonna sleep, and then we're gonna move out again. And it's raining again, so. And he is slightly thirsty. He has a dry mouth. Okay. Well, I'm glad to see that it's bright. We're just gonna go into the kitchen where the, the zombies chilling. And uh, here, eat the pie. There's some uh, stuff in the pie for you to eat, isn't there? Whatever. Oh, there's nothing I could do about you being thirsty, man. We could. I don't know. I don't know what you want me to do, man. There's nothing I can do. I don't want to go on an adventure because it's dark out and I'm scared like a little girl. I'm not sure if it's true, but I feel like I feel like I see more zombies at night. But because our character is being a tool and he has dry mouth, I guess we're going to go to the neighbor's house and see what they have for us. We're just going to go on the side window here, and we're going to smash another window, because what is the logical thing to do? And there's a zombie in there, so we're going to go in, the zombie, and we're just going to knock it out the window, okay. Did it come back in? It's in. Zombie is in. So hopefully, oh, they're knocking on the front door too. Die! Die! No, I'm not going down like this. I am not going down like this. I refuse. Going upstairs was a bad idea, what am I doing? I know what I'm gonna do. Come on up the stairs, guys. I'm gonna take them all on on the stairs, and that way, I'm less likely to get hit, right? 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 It's not working out that way. It's not working out that way. It's not working out that way. We can't run. Okay, this might be the end of me. Might be the end of me. I'm I'm cracking skulls. Okay, we're getting some kills in. We might survive. But we might end up infected and we might die over time. Kill that one. Okay, now get this one. Finish it. Finish the job that we started. Are you feeling sick? How you feeling? Don't you die on me. Don't you die on me. Don't you die. We got one left. We have one freaking zombie left. And that's the end of our ordeal. Okay, so we made it. But we're not feeling that great. So, we're going to apply bandages to every single thing. See, this is why we took a lot of bandages. Look at this. We're just gonna bandage you up all over the place. Get bandage up. Let's find you that water. It'll make you feel real good about yourself. So Yeah, he's pretty shaken up right now. We're just gonna drop these knives. Cause you know what? The the rolling pins seem to work out pretty well as far as killing a bunch of zombies went. Now, how's he feeling? Can't run. High panic. Severe injuries. Let's see how bad your injuries are. So we bandaged all of them. You're in critical condition. But how are you feeling? How are your skills feeling, actually? What the hell? We can't level you up at all? What's the point of our ordeal if we can't level you up? So you're bandaged. You're good. Stop being a baby about it. Let's, uh, let's see if we can find you some meds in their bathroom. Our neighbor's house sucks. And there's nothing in this, and up, oh, up, oh, can we get the second one up again? Shut the door. Get in the bathroom. And these have nothing in them. What's in here? Pants. And will this open up for us? No. Of course not. 
do they have a uh, storage room like the other one? They have bunk beds. What's in this? Not the door. The cabinet. We got a big hike. Okay, so that's good. We can a uh, we could grab this, and that should add. I'll just go to the second there. I don't know if that does anything, but uh, that should add more room for us to carry things, and it should make it easier. So if our guy's not infected, everything's gonna turn out great. If he is infected, well then we're screwed. Okay, let's go back in the room, and let's open this up. Okay, so ah. No, I don't want the shoes. Oh my god. No, okay, I'm taking everything. Why am I taking everything? Um, we're gonna rip one of these into the bandages. It shouldn't rip both of them. Okay, and then we're gonna wear this one. There we go, now we look cool. We got a black tank top on. I can't manage anything in this room for some reason. And we're high on weight. Our injuries are really taking a toll on us. There's still zombies around. Which completely sucks. Okay, I have yet to be able to search the kitchen. So do they have anything for you to drink? Yeah, what was that? Was that it's instant popcorn? Here, eat an apple. Eat some bread. Let's just get you completely full and just have your life become that much better. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Whatever. Are you full that you can't eat? Slightly fed. Well, not completely fed. Um, I don't know. I think we're done here. Can you eat the dog food? Oh, you can't. Roasted. Roasting pan. Rolling pan. Kitchen knife. Why isn't there like anything like a machete? Tea bag. I don't have a coffee maker in your house, I don't think, so that's not gonna work out too well. You know what we're gonna do though? Because I hated this house so much. There's a zombie at the front door. I'm gonna ignore him. Um This house. I've pretty much gotten everything out of it, so you know what? We're gonna turn the stove on. And that way. Over time. The house will catch on fire, and it won't turn to our problem anymore. So we're gonna burn down the neighbor's house because they've completely pissed me off with their bullshit. Whatever. We can't get through the front door. We can't get through the side door. Whatever. Come on in. Come on in. Oh crap! I don't have a weapon anymore. Why is my bat? Shit. Thank you. Want to go? Want to go? Look at that. Best weapon in the game. Well, I don't know that for sure, but don't take my word on that, but it feels like it is at this point. Alright. Our quest for water continues. Maybe this outhouse will have water. Who knows? We're likely to be locked, and I'm not busting down the door. And that house looks not interesting to me, because of all the zombies. Let's go to this house. Okay, I want to know who the hell locks all their doors before a zombie apocalypse. Like, oh hey honey, the apocalypse is breaking out, what should we do? Make sure you lock the doors, sweetie. We don't want them zombies to get in while we're not home. I, I could have swore I opened this house up. It did. Can you lock, relock doors? Can you pick the lock on doors? Let's see if we get in. Okay, we don't want to leave the door open to our uh, fabulous home. Okay. Are we pouring in a barn? Can't do that. Alright. Let's knock her out. Come on, you want some more? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want this. What? I'm a gladiator. A zombie gladiator. There we go. Is that one dead? I hope so. Alright, we're good. Tastes like three three hits with the bat. If we found a hammer, I know where nails are. And our handyman over here. Oh, great. I summoned the horde. 
it better to run or is it better just to fight them all off one by one and see what happens? My guy should be fearless now when it comes to zombies. He's like, you do not know things that I've seen. And you don't want to know the things I've seen. I have taken them all on. Okay, we're just gonna keep walking back. They're eventually oh my god. No! No! I don't want to deal with that. Oh my god. Just walking down. Come on. I'm just gonna put zombie bodies all around my house. And people will know that there's a badass living here. Wanna want some more? It's hard to figure out the like figure out the swing, because if you get too close you end up just pushing them, not swinging. So I think I got it down at this point. Freaking home runs, bitches. Yeah! You want some too? There goes another. There goes another. This one's gonna go soon. Oh. Die! Oh! Yeah, that wall needed new paint. Your blood will do just fine. There we go. I don't know, you can't loot these, can you? I don't know why. My guy's tired. It's been a long day. This bitch doesn't get to live now. I'm gonna roll. Oh no! They're hiding in the trees! Buddy, after this... I'm sorry, but we're never gonna get your water. That's just not happening. Okay, we're gonna go in our house. The music is... very crazy. Oh, no! I think he might be infected. So, we might just die overnight. But, hopefully not. Because we did such... we did so good! So our pain's gone. But we're kind of, uh... Anxious, and queasy, and nauseous. We have a strong pag panic. We're parched. We're in agony. Our life is shit. We should just give up. Why even live anymore? So you know what? I think it's safe to say that he's infected. There's another reason for him to be experiencing these just symptoms. So... A man of our stature should go down like a badass. So let's just do what any reasonable man would do and just run down the street and find trouble. I usually try and follow the roads, but they usually just lead me to nothing. Ooh, what's this? Oh god. Okay, we're just gonna... Oh god, no! Yep, going down like a badass. 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 Just take it easy. Alright. Yep, that's gonna do it. Game's gonna crash now. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Um, me and Chris are gonna do that whole secret survive longer. I only survived for one day, ten hours. So he survived for like four days right now. I think he's at on his game that he's playing currently. And uh, I, I think, I'm gonna assume that he's like kind of taking things slow. He wasn't running into it like I did. Um, I want to speed things up, show you more with the games and that. So. Yeah, I'll be making more videos of this along with a few other games I have in mind. And this music's really creepy, so I'll see you guys.